Hello everyone! Today we would like to show you how to culture bacteria on agar plates with provided kit. Bacteria are everywhere from biobranches.com. This is the first from 20 provided lessons which you can get with a subscription to Biobranches Microbiology course. The kit will help you to know which bacteria live extremely close to you. You can find lecture material describing what is so special about bacteria as well as guided video and all supplementary information on our website. The link you can find below this video. So we received our first monthly box and let's see what it includes. Five petri dishes where bacteria will live and divide. Nutrient agar in a tube. The powder substance with nutrients which will solidify the media and serve as food for a bacteria. Distill water in a bottle. Water should be clean because we want to avoid any unspecific contamination from dirt or other microorganisms. 10 cotton swabs and 2 sticks to transfer our bacteria. Gloves and ethyl alcohol to maintain the sterility. Also, we will need a microwave to prepare our agar medium. And of course, we have to find several places where we will collect bacteria. First of all, agar media should be prepared and transferred to a petri dishes. Empty the tube with agar powder to the bottle with clean distilled water. Close it and mix well. Place the bottle without the cover to a microwave and heat it up for 700 watt for 3 minutes. The solution will start boiling. If the solution is yellow and transparent, as you can see here, let's put it on a table for cool down for 3 or 5 minutes. Remove the lid of the petri dishes and put it on a clean table. After that, fill the petri dishes half full with warm agar solution. Do not completely close the lid, rather cover it from the one side to allow evaporation. Repeat the procedure with all available petri dishes. The media will solidify in approximately one hour and agar plates are ready. However, if you want to start the experiments tomorrow or the day after tomorrow or the day after after tomorrow, you can store your petri dishes in the fridge upside down. We recommend to study following sampling sites. However, use the marker to label your petri dish. We will start from hands. Of course, hands. A lot of different bacteria live on our skin, but some of them are just occasional travelers. Other sampling sites you can easily find around you. Let's start from the kitchen. You can choose any surface you like, but sink must be full of bacteria. Use a cotton swab to scrub your sink, especially near the wet drain. And very gently transfer the bacteria with zigzag movement on agar plate. We wash our hands, we clean our flat, but almost never we clean our phone. However, we touch it more than 100 times per day. Take it cotton swab, make it wet and swipe the screen of the form. Next, transfer bacteria in the same manner to agar plate. Moreover, you can find bacteria in your fridge. Despite cold conditions, life is flourishing there. 
Let's check what we also have in the fridge. Yogurt. Several bacteria species, such as Lactobacillus and Bifidobacterium, transform milk into a yogurt, and still they are doing their work when we eat it. However, before starting the experiment, let's make our place sterile. Wipe the table and gloves with ethanol. Through culturing on agar plates, we can easily see all these species. Here we suggest you to use two sticks for cultivating the isolated colonies of yogurt bacteria using streak plate technique. To do this, dip the two sticks into the yogurt and then make 3-4 horizontal streaks. Then rotate petri dish on approximately 45 degrees and repeat the procedure, ensuring that the, your new lines cross the initial ones. Then repeat the procedure again, and the last time. Sampling is done. Put your petri dishes upside down into the warm, dark place. For example, in the provided box. Wait 3-4 days. After several days, bacteria divided and multiplied on agar plates. Thus, it would be possible to identify the different colonies. Let's see what we have got. We cannot properly identify all bacterial species which we have in our colonies. As Many of the colonies have different morphology and shape. Wow, we can observe a lot of different bacterial colonies in our petri dishes. However, we will try to describe the most distinctive species, as well as abundant and plausible ones. Let's start from hands. The most numerous bacterial species in my case appear to be Pseudomonas which form large flat colonies with a regular shape. Another species, which is quite numerous, is Carini bacteria, which form a small grayish colony with a granular appearance. Our next sampling place was screen of the foam. Here we can see the round uh, orange colonies, which probably belongs to Staphylococcus. Another small roundish colony are probably Micrococcus. And here you can see the several fungal species. Now we are going to take a look on our kitchen samples and we will start from sink. Surprisingly, in a sink we didn't observe variety of species as we saw in previous cases. However, the species which we, you see here is the most numerous. We don't know the precise species but we think that it's Escherichia coli. The next one is sample from a fridge. Here we can see the different bacterial species, which is similar to hands or foam. For example, Staphylococcus and Micrococcus colonies. However, we can see the new ones, like Panthea, the white small colonies, and Bacillus species. Sterile conditions and usage of straight method allowed us to obtain small, but clean and nice colonies of Actobacillus and Bifidobacteria. Without sterile conditions, our yogurt will be contaminated with fungi and some other bacteria species falling from our hands. After analysis of your bacteria, we recommend to use household bleach to destroy the bacteria and dispose the petri dish. 
Thank you for being with Bear Branches. We hope you like it.